Hi, I'm Chuck from Whitlock's Homestead. Today we're going to do an assembly video for the mini Whitlock's wood-fired forge. All right, let's get started. Uh, you want to start by finding the side piece that has the two bracket mounting holes and the front of the forge that has the V cut out of it. Uh, the flanges all go out on this forge. So front flange to the outside and the side flanges to the outside. So this is the geometry we're looking for. Uh, it's a little easier to work on for me up vertically. So we'll start with these two bolts. I don't try to line up both bolts at the same time. Usually it's easier to just do one and then rotate until the other lines up. Lock washer first. So we're off to a good start. Time for the other side. Once again, flanges out and uh, the whole pattern is to the bottom. So once again, I like to work on it vertically. If you can find one hole, then the other one rotates into view. All right, we have the front and two sides. And now we're ready for the back. I like to flip it up. The back has the draft tube hole flange to the outside. Same situation here, much easier to just start with one bolt, rotate till the other one comes in view, find one bolt hole, and rotate. Okay, and we're well on our way. It's important to leave the hardware loose at this point. So we are ready for the snout. The extension piece looks like this and goes like this. So there are some flathead bolts that go in from the inside of the forge. Same thing here, just do one at a time. All right, so these, once they're installed, can be tightened. Nothing else depends on them, so good old impact driver. Okay, now we have a floppy floor forge with a firm snout. The snout is where the work rest wire goes from whatever side is convenient for you. The work rest is uh, exactly what it sounds like. When you put a piece in here, sometimes the angle isn't quite right. If it were laying flat, it may not be in the hottest part of the fire. So you can raise it and get the angle. So it looks like we're ready for the draft tube. Uh, there are actually two pieces to the draft tube. Uh, there's a 12 inch piece that fits in our flat rate box that we mentioned earlier, but we really needed a 13 and a half inch piece. So that's what this little ring is. It, uh, it's not attached in any way. The, the weight of the fire bricks holds it together. So little ring goes in the front by the snout and the draft tube with the hole closest to the edge goes in from the back like that and orient it so that the holes are vertical. So we still have a floppy forge here. I'll explain why that is in a little bit. So we have the draft tubes in and now we're ready for the K wool. Uh, the K wool uh, does a really important job uh, of keeping the steel body of the forge cool and that keeps the heat in the fire. So um, don't skip this part. So the cable goes in here. It's a little bit loose fit because it's actually the fire bricks that hold them in place. So now we're ready for fire brick. The fire brick uh, cut pieces is what we're going to start with. There are uh, a small cut and a large cut, and you want to put them in like this. A small cut down to the draft tube. Um, this is where you're going to want to move your 
cable insulation around. I like to make it match the end of the fire brick. Looks better to me. Same thing on the other side. Might want to pull the cable up. Large fire brick. Another large fire brick. Uh, if you've kept things lined up well, you should be able to see those draft holes. So you want to make sure that those bricks are pushed all the way forward to give you the clearance you need for the last two cut bricks. Once again, small edge to the draft tube. And this is why we've left the bolts loose up to this point. Um, the fire bricks are not always a consistent size, and uh, so it, it can be a tight fit to get these last two in. By leaving those bolts loose, you save yourself a lot of headache. So now it's sitting on a flat surface, bricks installed, K-wool installed, draft tube installed, and now we're ready to tighten those bolts. Okay, no more flopping around. Nice and sturdy now. Put that work rest where it belongs. Final piece is the triangle piece, which sits right here. So you now have a fully assembled mini Whitlock's wood fired forge. Ready for a blower of your choice? You're ready to heat some steel.